Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. So, it is now nighttime, and as we were told, the, uh... The bounty was only, uh, the individual we are looking for could only be captured at night in Blackwater, so... We are going to be... Kind of patrolling around here, these uh, build sites, because they said he was stealing from build sites. Ah. And we're going to make sure we got what we want. Good evening. Evening, sir. What a time to be alive, huh? Yep. yep. All right. Excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'll just calm down. Okay. Oh, this ain't good. Good evening, friend. Good evening. Okay, so we're trying to find this bounty who steals from build sites at night. Firmly night time. Okay, this building is where you are on the roof firing at that building, which is the bank in the first game. That's the one that uh, the Dutch robs. So, okay, this still exists. That's cool. So that's being made. All right, stranger. All right. Just need to be around here for when he How shows up. Hey, partner. Steam, all right. All right. Let's just come around here. Let's see if we spot anybody trying to steal anything. Come on, criminals. Come on out. Who's this thing? Hey there. You know, all in all, things are okay, I guess. Glad to hear it. All right. From build sites at night. Well, what time is it? Looking for somebody to steal something, or for something on my map to pop up. I 
I guess there's another build site over here, I think. Okay, well, stores are closed now. So I think that would... That would matter. Alright, well, we increased our stamina a little bit. That's good. Let's leave Blackwater and come back in. Maybe that, that sometimes is a thing. Alright, yep, yeah, that was the thing. wanted alive, but I am going to intimidate the shit out of him. You wait here, girl. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, so you can be found pretty much anywhere. So we just need to go around, try and spot him. Let's work away from the outside in. site. Got a feeling it might be this one. Anybody here? What's going on in there? I will follow you to the ends of the earth, sir. Too late. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. You really don't need to do that. Yeah, I do. Let's see what you got on you. Mind if I check your pockets? All right. My dinner. Oh, shut up. Let me go halfway across the town for you just to give up. The indignity. Um, think about it. Did you really see anything? Don't need it was to. Dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It was like taking something. Me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? The burden of proof is on the prosecution, and if you give false testimony, that might be a civil matter. I am right, not above for defamation, and maybe for assault as well. 
I know what I saw. All right. You're a goddamn thief. This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Yep, just shut it. Here's your spot, old girl. Get you inside there, 30 bucks. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. All right. There, there. Settle in. Okay. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime. I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. All right. But this won't hold up in court. Okay. Now let's go find Uncle who's been sleeping all day while I've been working. There is a bounty up in Strawberry, but... Eh. I don't really want to have to go all the way up there and get it right now. Come on, girl. Let's go. Okay. Easy. Got two dead people again. Wagon. Yeah, Skinners are out in force, I guess. That was one of the horses. Let's head up here. Go find Uncle. It's a busted hey, fence. Hey, to find you working just once do you believe in reincarnation john marston no well i hope and pray to whatever is out there that i get to come back as a youngin so that when you're old and facing death i can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave this is a fatal condition i got and i'll give you another fatal condition we don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Oh, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Okay. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. 
Into Blackwater. Let's go. Yeah. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <sighs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Mm. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. It's true, John. You don't have furniture yet. Which uh, is kind of necessary. go morning this is him Damn, I my old horse. all right speak to the lumber salesman and how are we how's little Emily Emily I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man <laughs> is very annoying. Yes, he is. Just give me a few days. Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie, Sadie? Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. All right. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Let's just go ahead and make sure well, I have it on good authority Rachel's got some. Bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, let's go. Good morning, mister. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking fella hanging around. What are you doing? Stay with me from now on. You're the one. I'm. You're following me. You was gonna say something. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Old up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. All right. 
Shady. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not uh. much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm yeah. sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. Uh, there's a lot of if empty not, wagons on the road I by <laughs> ranch. Red. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should well. come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. <laughs> I like Sadie. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. All right. Come on, just keep going. Whoa! This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon yeah. Cortez, you better be here. Right on up. Let's get down and take a look. Let's just make sure we got what we need. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. All right. Break that lock. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will- Oh, Jesus! Oh, it'll all be over soon. Come on, break out. You got, got him. Glass jaw. So. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rogue. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. 
It's different there now. Roads. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Come on. Okay. In a while. It still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. All right. Cortez here. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Right. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Uh -huh. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> All right. How many days are we waiting here and when are we gonna get paid? Oh. Yeah, I thought this was gonna happen. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas! We want that friend back! You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools! One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him come it, boys! Tell him. Alright. If you got the shot, kill that bastard. Keep going! You're running scared! Hey, you are kidding! You ain't getting you bastard! Look at him go! I guess we're keeping him! What was it? Oh, damn it. That's dynamite. Jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shocked today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. All right. Come on. 
Just gonna make sure we got what we can from these guys. We're near some fences, uh, I know from Arthur's journal, I suppose. Give me a minute, Sadie. Getting what I can. We gotta pay loans off. Every little bit helps. Seems a lot of shit goes down in the uh, town of Rhodes. And we didn't get the last one either. He got out. The thing I do want to do is go ahead and just eat something. There we go. Come on, lady. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Okay. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone right. must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. Uh. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. All right. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never uh. said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. Mm. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. <laughs> no, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out. I mean, out yeah. For all of us. I mean, Sadie, you know, John's still got a bounty on his head. Okay, guys, so there was a bit of a crash uh, there, which really sucked hey, because we're fairly I far into the mission. Being stole off so, uh, hopefully this doesn't crash again. Uh, he got stole off both of us. All right, so we have to go through this uh, conversation again. <laughs> Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I had to go all the way back to whenever we woke Uncle Uncle up and play through all that again. but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. All it's right. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty, but we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter uh -huh. wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. 
So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. All right. Let's hope this cutscene doesn't crash the game again. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. All right. Well, we made it past that. That's good. Okay. Distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Okay. Let's go up. Let's head up there. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do okay. as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. All right. Second time I've had to defend Sadie. Go ahead and take something here. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Come on.
Alright. Alright, alright, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Whoo! Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. Alright. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down oh. mouth! Alright. We might just be. Whew. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. See what you got on you, Ramon. Since Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Yep. Yeah, only thing that could stop John is if the, I don't know, U.S. government forced him to go and, uh... Alright. We can get out of here. We'll go we into Mexico. But uh, who knows? Did not mean to get into the boat. There we go. There you are, Missy. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You you're a dead woman! You are a dead man! The De Lobos will not forgive this! Okay. Uh, wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money! Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Mm, Hell, that's true. I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. All right. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I uh -huh. that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. <laughs> Sadie is a very damaged person. <laughs> All right, let's speed it up a little bit. All right. Where's he going to stay in the jail? That's the other thing. Cause... Okay. Looks like... Hey, there we go. Rachel, you got full bonding now. That's good. I'm that's, proud of you. That's a good girl. Hold. Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. All right. 
We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. All right. Let's hit you up, girl. Be good, girl. Well, we got some furniture now, it looks like. Need to clean the place up a bit. Oh, I have a bed, though. That's good. We got ourselves a fast travel map. That's nice. All right. Good to know. Ah, <sighs> but if my math is correct, I think we are at time for this episode now. So. Even though we had a bit of a uh, crash, that uh, that worked out. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to please leave a comment down below, hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. As well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.